hi guys come back to another tutorial uh, in this tutorial we will be studying about how to create a variant for a particular model okay so what is a variant okay for example uh, you have a bicycle or a motorcycle let us take for example pulsar okay bajaj pulsar in bajaj pulsar you have two variants one is 110 cc one is uh, you have multiple variants depending upon the engine for example 110 cc 125 cc 150 cc okay you know today, nowadays we also have 220 cc pulsar bikes also so what happens in these variants is uh, most of the things remains same only engine changes okay similarly in today's example what we will do is uh, we we have a bicycle model here okay so what we will do we will use this bicycle model and we will have we'll create variants for its tires okay so we will see how to create this variant and uh, we will understand how to create a, and this this variant op, uh, option is available in creo options modeler this is also called as options modeler okay let's start now we have this uh, model okay let's go and create a uh, options modeler here go and click on new assembly type options m o d e l e r modeler click on this use don't use default say okay we already have it so click one click here and go and click on mmks say okay okay now what happened is i made a mistake over here i directly created smd that's not right so erase it we don't need anything go here click on assembly click here as configurable product okay the highest level of a variant model is configurable product in configurable product you have sub sub assemblies called as configurable module okay but we are going to create configurable product first so i type by bicycle model okay when you do that click on ok click on mmks say ok no start working can you see this change over here it is far different from what we usually have okay and when this options modeler module is active we have something called as configuration option is available over here we will be using this configuration option to create variants okay i will show you in this module in this tutorial go here and click on model isometric apply yes and then okay okay then go here and click this now import our sub parts first we will import frame okay keep it in default view perfect then we'll keep on swivel part open and keep it in default view perfect okay then we will import our tire one front this is going to be our uh, changeable part okay so go here and click on this and this okay and then tree filter apply this is done then click on front and front it sets perfect right now click on rear rear wheel tire one type okay click on this click on this then after that front with front now you clearly see that i have created two tires named as tire 1 and tire type 1 for front and type 1 for a rear okay now if you go in this folder i have something called as type 2 also for both now what we will do is we will replace this with type 1 using variant option okay how to do that i will show you once this assembly is ready now i said this is configurable product the sub assemblies in a configurable product are called as configurable module okay now i am going to add this tire as in configurable module okay just like creating a sub assembly in a main assembly okay 
unclick this click this okay and type here as configurable module is active then say front tire type okay and Un unclick this pick on mm mmks okay done now you can see it's, it has automatically changed to configurable module similarly we will be doing it for the other one also what you will be saying here as cancel click this you just say this as rear rear tire type okay click on this right so now you can clearly see that i have two configurable modules in a configurable product open this you have this tire okay in this tire i'm going to add type 2 open this and add type 2 type 2 front that's very important open then go here and do pairing it's everything is similar to the assemblies that we use okay click on this to be active component then the pairing component then evaluate only one gets added in this you type this say okay save this go back now you can clearly see that two front tires have been added and that is also available here open again and add type 2 in this rear open go here okay active is this pairing component is this evaluate only one gets activated automatically then go here and click here and say okay you are another assembly module configurable module is ready okay you can see it you can clearly see here once this is done guys then we have to create variant uh, what you can say choices so first click here okay then click on this double click say tire front tire tire type okay it's done then you have to click on this type type 1 type 2 very important just observe the steps say yes here you go and then pick this one say yes close okay go back to this pick this one pick this one say this yes close now when you go to this assignment variant builder you clearly see that i have two types here we'll come back to this later okay then go back to assigning then click on rear rear typ type tire sorry tyre tire typ type okay it's done then type here type 1 type 2 say yes for this you are going to pick this one say yes close it go back for this one you are going to click this click on this close it okay so now our preliminary work is over we have assigned it okay without assigning this we will not be able to go and build a variant okay so now you go here and come to variant builder in variant builder go here and say expand all you can clearly see that in i have a model tree okay in model tree i have two components and then i have two configurable modules not product this is the product okay and then i have this visual 
model graphics in which I have two tires overlapped on each other. Type 1 and type 2 are overlapped for rear and type 1 and type 2 are overlapped for what you can say front and rear. So now I will build the first configuration and say type 1. Okay. I will pick type 1 and type 2. Here I have missed, I have not typed here, here as type 1, it is wrong. Okay, so I have not added it here. Cancel. Okay, go to assign. This one is this. Add it here. Close. Go here and for this one is this type 2. Okay, now I hope it was fine. Perfect. Okay, now I have not saved it. Click here as type 1. Uh, just bear with me. I have mistyped here. Now click on type 1 for front. Perfect. Can you see the assembly automatically gets updated? Okay. If it doesn't get updated, then you have to click on update and did it get updated? Next, you have to save this. Save variant. It gets saved. Okay. Update assembly. Okay. Can you see this? Previously it was overlapped. Now it is not. We have two tires of type 1 here. Go back to variant builder. Type this as type 2. Okay, go back here, click on this and this. Okay, so type 1, I have misplaced it. We will go back, no problem. Such things are very important, you know. If it doesn't happen, then what is the use? If mistakes don't happen, then what is the use? You don't learn. Yeah, I am not saving it. Go to assign. Go here, type 1, nothing is chosen. Click on this. Click save. Okay. Go to variants. Our type 1 is already ready. Click on type 2. Let's hope that this one works. Okay. Go here, expand all. Type 2. No, it's not happening here. Why? Anyway. I'll click, go here and I will click on this. Okay. What has happened is I have added type and type 1 in both same. Cancel. Go to assigning. Go here. Go here. Otherwise, best thing is edit, delete this, delete this. Okay, then click on type 1 and click on type 2. Perfect. Okay, now click here. This is type 1. Okay. The other name and select this. Close. Okay. Go back to assign this one. Click here and click here. Let's hope it's working now. We already have one. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So Save this TYP type 2. Go here, save the save variant. Okay, then update, and you have two tires of different type. So, what happens in our case is that we are only changing the tires. Okay, for two different tires, okay, we have two different variants type 1 variant, type 2 variant. Go back. Okay, type 1 is this missing. No problem. Type 2 is this. Okay. Then type 1. 
perfect okay now we have to save this that's important save it okay update assembly okay now go back we have two variants type 1 you can clearly see here we have another variant type 2 okay so this kind of options modelers are used for in automobile industries as well as in machine design industries where the main product remains same okay which is also called as uh, product configurable product the only thing that changes is the internal components for different internal components they create different modules uh, configurable modules or variants and then they create different types let's go and create one more and say it as cross okay then what happens here is i'm going to use type 1 as tire and type 2 as this but so you can see that i have n number of options to do it and i'm going to save this okay then i'm going to say update now you can see that tires have changed type 1 is for front type 2 is for rear i'm going to create cross 2 cross 2 and then type 2 is this type 1 is this update i am going to save it then update and open it can you see this so guys this is a short tutorial on how to use variant how to create variants for any automobile component or any machine okay and this is called as options modeling of this is called as options modeler in creo okay so thanks guys thanks for watching this and uh, please subscribe for more uh, such tutorials in the future thank you very much